Hello everyone and welcome to the biggest car from Mini's lineup which is this Mini Cooper S Countryman. So Mini promises that this second generation of the Cooper S Countryman is more desirable, more practical and more spacious compared to the previous generation. So in today's video, let's find out if that is true or not. But before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscription button and make sure to leave all the notifications on so that you never miss any video updates and also you will find lots of uh, useful reviews that you can find. If not this car, then you will find some other car. So make sure you head over to my channel and check them out. And also while you're here, check out my Instagram profile, head over there, give me a follow so that you can get all the behind the scenes of all the cars that I get for the reviews. So this Mini Cooper S Countryman comes with a lot of optional extras and one of them are these stripes that you see on both the sides. They are like the black color uh, vinyl stripes which has been given and in the front you will find this black color grille with this red s badging and then this mesh type of grill even at the bottom you will find another set of mesh grill with this uh, silver surround like a plastic trim and then the normal black color bumper out here which houses these fog lights and these uh, plastic bumpers are given so that you know if you have odd scruffs and scratches and you know it's just easier to replace and there's also this vent out here and i'm happy to report it actually is a functional vent but it has this silver color surround around it like black would have looked nicer there is one more you know, fake vent out here which has nothing it just stops in here so yeah that's one thing which is yeah to be mentioned these headlights are led headlight cluster and they have they are the adaptive headlights and they also have the drls incorporated inside them and then these drls also function as the turn signals and there's also this black color you know the uh, glossy plastic surround around these headlights look like you know if you put something around your eyes like black color yeah it looks something like that and at the bottom you would find the led fog lights and there's also the scoop out here like a gentle one and also there is a chrome surround on the edge of the bonnet and that chrome surround continues all the way on the horizontal side till the back of the car and it just circles around the car so this mini cooper s countryman is a crossover suv which is why you will find these plastic arches on the side black colored one so that you don't damage your fender and also this s badging out here in this sort of frame that they have given and this mesh background with just plastic one like there's no holes or anything and then all four to denote that this is an all-wheel drive car at the bottom there is another silver skirting and on top of that a black color uh, plastic trim and again in the back more black colored arches normal plastic and then these door handles are keyless entry door handles they are glossy door handles and inside you will find the cooper s badging in the door sills there's also a projector light with a mini logo at night it illuminates the ground and it looks really cool and there's also this chrome surround which continues horizontally around the car as i mentioned and these are power foldable and power adjustable gloss black uh, side mirrors and they don't have blind spot warning system that's the only thing and the mirrors are actually oval shaped so yeah in terms of the side visibility they tend to be a little restricted and because yeah as i mentioned they are oval so it cuts the top bit of you know the visibility compared to you know when you have the rectangular one then there is the black color pillars and also the roof and the roof is actually panoramic uh, sunroof and you get these silver roof rails out here when i come to the rims these are 19 inch alloy rims in this uh, dual tone design and to be honest i'm not really impressed by these uh, rim designs let me know in the comment section below what do you think about these rim designs now in the back you get led tail light cluster and there is also a union jack design that you will see in this uh, tail light cluster in both of them so when you you know see it together it's like a uk flag and it's not just during the night even during the day it looks absolutely pretty cool and the design is pretty uh, visible there's also a countryman badging out here in 
the black then the mini badging and on this black color plate and there is also the cooper s badging i wish the cooper was in black and then there is this chrome surround which i mentioned that goes around the car now when it comes to the visibility the visibility is a little bit restricted because yeah the pillars tend to come in your rear view and also the the rear grass itself is a little smaller which is why it you know sort of limits your visibility there's also a small bit of spoiler out here there's a silver color plastic trim at the bottom of this bumper and another normal plastic that has been given again from so that you know minor scratches and scruffs are going to be easy to replace and this uh, chrome dual tip uh, exhaust that you will see not just fake tip like both of them are functional ones now when it comes to the boot space you can put 450 liters of luggage in the back when the rear seats are upright and there is also more storage at the bottom underneath the boot floor so you don't get the spare wheel but like more storage at the bottom and there is this really nice fancy thing which i wanted to show you all which is something called as a picnic chair like a cushion picnic cushion so when you put it out here and then you can sit and relax because probably you're going to be taking your family on on a trip and then you would want to sit somewhere and then this is going to be the perfect combination and when you don't want to use it you can put it underneath the boot floor so that it doesn't consume the space and there are aluminum scruff plates out here so that you don't damage your bumper and there's also this uh, boot separator which i'm actually removed right now but it's it doesn't go somewhere inside underneath the boot floor but it just stays there consuming slight bit of space but there are like slots where you can just you know tuck it in so there's also boot lights out here and also a 12 volt power socket these rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 40 is to 20 is to 40 and all of them have to be done from here and there are no buttons in the back and the the thing is all seats have to be folded it's not like 60 is to 40 so you know you can just fold the hand rest together but yeah it's all separately done so let me fold all three of them down now when you do this you get 1390 liters of boot space so in terms of the space it has really grown like it's pretty visible and also the boot floor is fairly even so you know there is no step for anything so you can easily slide your objects in and out also there's not much of a lip out here and also the boot opening is pretty big that way and even and also you can the boot height is actually pretty low so you can lift the objects and then you know put them in and out quite easily so this mini cooper s countryman has grown by 75 millimeters in the second generation and they have made sure to utilize every bit of space now step inside this mini cooper and the first thing that you will notice is that everything is either either round or over shaped that's the only thing there are no sharp edges or corners inside this mini cooper s countryman even on the exterior actually everything has like soft edges and everything only bit which is not round or oval are the headlights that's the only thing and uh, when it comes to the quality of materials i'm happy to report that there is uh, quite a bit of improvement in the interior quality and that was something which was the biggest complaint in the first generation of the cooper s countryman so you get soft touch plastic out here squeegee ones on the dashboard even on the side and out here you would get the tan color leather covered hand rest on the side out here just normal plastic but that's all right because it's not going to come in your way or you are going to touch out here even on the dashboard there is this leather covered tan colored uh, dashboard and then you would find these designs on the dashboard those are actually the lights which illuminate at night and then you can actually change the color of those lights from a button mounted on the roof so you have to press that and you can change like 12 different colors on the on the dashboard and also this ring around the infotainment screen half sort of three fourth ring and then you can change the color of that too i'm going to come to that but yeah it's a really cool feature that they have given and there are lights even on the door cards and everywhere and the good bit about the cooper is that you know there is no tunnel out here so your legs are free to move while you are driving so it's yeah it's really like you know like openness out here which is really cool now when it comes to the multi information drivers display you get a 5 inch tft display and on both the sides like you know uh, your uh, rev counter and on the other side your fuel gauge and there is not much of customization that you can do on this screen so basically you can just see your 
uh, you know trip information like you know your average speed trip a the date and also the temperature and also you can see the fuel consumption from refueling and then the total fuel consumption during the trip so and on the screen you will find in the center a speedometer and then you know the range and all of that but this uh, screen tends to have a little bit of graining issue and especially during the bright daylight it feels a little washed out especially because there is no cover on top of it and it's just an open screen so yeah that is why there is there is like a bit of a washing issue and then this screen is actually fixed to this steering wheel which is this big steering wheel which is also tiltable and also telescopic and the display is actually attached to that and there are also paddle shifters on this steering wheel which are like the fixed one so whenever you're turning the, the the paddle shifters are actually moving with the steering wheel and the steering wheel also has this leather covered perforated red colored uh, stitching in them and there's a mini logo in the center and john cooper works badging at the bottom and on your right side you will find controls for your communication and the infotainment system and on the left side you will find the controls for your cruise control and the speed limiter the steering wheel tends to be uh, a little too thick or padded to my liking and uh, when it comes to the air conditioning controls again straightforward button operated controls are given on the dashboard simple easy to use dials and this is a dual zone air conditioning system so there are dials on both the sides for your temperature and also in the center there is a dial for your fan at the bottom to start and switch off the ac and the different settings for that and at the bottom you would find buttons which are like the typical mini fashion like you know the ones you would find something in a plane like you know buttons for your different drive modes and the traction control and the start stop button has this red light around it like it glows and especially at night you can really see it so that you can read the start stop button so which is mounted out here in the center and then more buttons for your engine start stop feature and all of that and when it comes to the infotainment screen this infotainment screen is surrounded by this big round dial and that is again a typical mini fashion that which is being given out here and then this screen is an 8.8 .8 inch crisp display now i mentioned the fact crisp because it is really clear i love this screen and it's actually very bright and then there are straight forward options for your mini connected your my mini which is your detail settings to change everything so this system is actually based on the bmw's iDrive system it's just tweaked a little bit but yeah so if you know that system this is going to be quite easy and then continuing you get the navigation system the navigation system is all right but yeah it tends to be a little laggy sometimes and i'm not too sure about the graphics because yeah it looks i mean all right but yeah not the best and then you can also split the screen on the uh on this screen so you have on the right side you know you can have different settings for your trip information your time your radio the trip computer and all of that and if you want to have the full screen view then you can choose to do that also and uh, there is also more uh, controls for your media your communication and then the notifications if there is anything and this infotainment screen has like the volume control at the bottom of it and then there are more buttons at the bottom and the main screen can be just like your iDrive system there is also a dial and few more buttons out here with which you can control this infotainment screen so there's also menu for you know quick uh, menu options in the in the infotainment system so you can access that also while you are on the move or so this dial is going to be helpful while you are doing that now when it comes to the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system using the usb the bluetooth and there is only apple carplay in this one and no android auto and when when it comes to the light which has been given out here so this light has a multi-purpose function so this light as i mentioned you can change it from the buttons mounted on the roof so you can change that and also when you are in different driving modes it would change the color of this dial also when you are reversing the light would again change the color from you know being white to orange to red to warn you and when you're changing the air conditioning so it will actually show you on your screen like you know what is the 
well, if you are cooling go, going towards the lower temperature or you are going towards the higher temperature and while you are driving this actually is a pretty helpful feature which is what I found. This Mini Cooper S uh, Countryman comes with 8 speaker Harman Kardon music system and have a listen to that. goes to the charging you get one normal usb port out here underneath the air conditioning controls and one 12 volt power socket there is one more uh, usb type c power socket which has been given underneath the handrest and then there are two more usb type c ports given for the rear passenger there is also a wireless charger which has been given in this center armrest and uh, there is also this uh, this sort of arm which opens up and then you can you know put uh, put your phone and it's like a flexible one but the thing is it doesn't accommodate a phone bigger than six inches like i tried putting my this phone which is like a samsung s21 and yeah it just doesn't go in so yeah i think that needs to be corrected now there's also a heads up screen which has been given which pops up when you start the car and just goes away when you switch it off and also you can control the heads up display from this infotainment screen and if you don't want it then you know this glass would again disappear and you know go in the bottom and on this heads up display you can find a lot of information like your speed the cruise control information and also if there are any notifications and also the media controls but i found the screen adjustment to be a little bit of you know finding that right spot because if you go down then you know the the heads up display doesn't come up like there are settings to change the position but it doesn't come too much so yeah you really have to be a little up to be able to see that heads up display now when it comes to the storage you can put uh, like one liter to one and a half liter worth of bottle in the door cards and also some more storage on the side in both the driver and the passenger and in the back again you can put like one liter to even one and a half liters worth of bottle and some more storage in both the rear door cards and there is more uh, storage out here to put your phones and wallets like a slot and then there are two uh, cup holders which are just the standard size like no flexible cup holders or anything just the standard ones and then there is this small bit of glove box which has been given and at the bottom there is more storage which is like an open storage in which you can put like your wallets and phones again and in the back you will find two cup holders but those are like the flexible cup holders now this mini cooper as countryman comes with a panoramic sunroof now when it comes to these seats these are tan colored leather seats which have the white uh, stitching around them and they also have the diamond quilting in the center but these seats are super comfortable and they are pretty broad that way and during longer journeys yeah they are going to make your life easier because they are very comfortable and they also have this side support to give you that additional bit of extra support and there's also extension under the thighs for that extra bit of support the driver side seat is six way electronically adjustable there's also two memory functions that you can store in them and also the there is four way lumbar control that you have on the driver side seat while the passenger side seat also has uh, six way electronically adjustable and four way lumbar control but it doesn't have the memory function if you have any doubts if this mini cooper s countryman is spacious or not then let me tell you this is spacious because look at this there is decent amount of knee room out here and also a fair bit of uh, head room out here somewhere about six feet yeah still will be able to sit out here comfortably and these seats also have been shaped like you know so that you get that extra bit of uh, you know knee room out here and you can also slide your feet underneath the seats like lots of space out here and again these seats are tan colored leather seats and they have this diamond quilting in the center there's not much of a tunnel out here even though this is an all-wheel drive car so when you sit in the center yeah you can still find lots of space like there is like still like decent amount of space so someone above six feet may start brushing their head but it's still not bad because the middle seat doesn't even have that much of a hump or anything and also these uh, rear seats are reclinable so yeah you can go back yeah you can do that also and also they are adjustable so yeah you can slide them 
and give extra bit of boot space in the back so yeah that's one cool feature and this is an optional extra that you have to pay for that in the back you get soft touch uh, plastic door cards and again the tan colored leather covered hand rest you get two air conditioning vents and you can just control the flow of air out here and then two usb ports type c which i mentioned before these door handles in the front and back are again round in the usual mini way but in the back they are actually pretty small so you know you really have to put your hand inside these small door handles and then open them up so in real sense they are really mini door handles so this mini cooper s countryman is powered by a 2 liter 4 cylinder twin turbocharged petrol engine that produces 178 brake horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to an 8 speed steptronic transmission and let me get back to the engine first because the engine is a very smooth one and i really like how the the power delivery happens also just at the lower end there is slight bit of you know lag sometimes but that's all right but whatever it offers it offers very good combination that way and even the gearbox the gearbox tends to have a good you know the smooth shifting patterns like you know you wouldn't feel any jerk or anything and also there are paddle shifters here which are the as i mentioned mounted on the steering wheel itself so you never lose you know where the the plus and the minus is so that's one good thing and let me put it in the manual mode and then show you because it's it's very snappy the gear shifts are so the thing is this mini has all the four wheels power which is why it's got an all wheel drive system and the way it works is that you know there's a computation of power so if there's a lag of traction in the rear then you know the computer would send more power in the back wheels in case of power demand in the rear so that's how the whole uh, all wheel drive system works but it manages very well as a result it also improves a bit of handling capabilities but let me still dive down into the engine gear was combination because this mini cooper countryman comes with three different modes the sport mode the comfortable mode and the eco mode so as is the thing let me put it in the sport cuz yeah who wants to drive it in the green mode so uh the moment i put it in the sport mode the 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 lot of things become stiff you know the steering becomes stiff the throttle response improves the engine becomes more lively and the moment you and you even hear some good sound from the exhaust system that's yeah and because this thing is still small like it's not that huge like it's still a crossover but it's got a very good dynamics that ways of being you know a crossover so yeah and even in the sport mode the the shifts are snappy really love them now when it comes to the steering wheel again the steering is pretty tight and it's pretty poised that ways like the car itself and it's also got pretty sharp handling because i know exactly that the car would turn in whichever direction i want like you know it's very agile it's very sporty that ways it's athletic is what i would say and also there's good amount of feedback from steering system that's one good thing and it's got like really tight feedback that is what i loved about this steering wheel and when it comes to the suspension again that's something which is a little bit on the harder side which is what i found because the ride though is quite balanced that way is like you are comfortable all thanks to these leather seats but yet there is some amount of you know hardness to the ride and as a result it still gives you a good amount like it keeps the roll in check you know there is not much of roll it improves the handling it makes things very sporty that way but yeah i wish it was slightly softer and you know it would change in terms of its nature because whenever i wanted in the comfort setting it would get a little you know sober that way but it's not really a very harsh ride that is really to be complained about now when it comes to the brakes full emergency stop you get the emergency stop signal and all my things are flying around so you get four disc brakes but the thing is with the pedal the pedal is a little bit sensitive you know when you try to press it a little but then then it takes a little while to you know eventually get that full braking action to be performed so yeah 
that needs a little bit of you know calibration that way now when it comes to the noise and vibrations the vibrations are really good in here there is no vibration at all actually because the interior quality has improved so much on this one that is really commendable which is why everything feels really tight and you know strong that way and when it comes to the noise there is a little bit of noise leakage which is what i found i don't mind the engine noise that's completely fine for me but there's a bit of wind whooshing especially if it's a windy day then you would actually you know hear quite a bit of wind whooshing around and also some bit of tire noise also so yeah that is something which needs a little bit of improvement and when it comes to the safety systems you get the standard safety system six airbags two in the front for the driver and the passenger two side airbags two curtain airbags child isofix points in both the rear seats there's also a single camera reversing system and the good part about the camera system is that you get this 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 light which has been given on the dial the round dial for the infotainment that light keeps changing to in, to warn you you know about the distance from the the object in the background so that's one cool feature that they've incorporated with this light so this light actually does quite a lot of things actually and the quality of the camera can be improved because the screen is really fine like you know it's really crisp it's just that the the camera quality needs to improve a little bit because some occasions it tends to get a little grainy and also there are patches of contrast on the screen and because it's just a little screen uh, on the side it would show you and not occupy the entire screen which is why yeah a little you know do up to the camera system would be nice and when it comes to the other safety systems you get abs the emergency stop signal there's also traction control there's also tire pressure monitoring system so all of that is just there but then the only feature which i found missing was the blind spot warning system because that's something which is really helpful especially when you are uh, you know driving in a in a highway or somewhere and you really want to overtake oh, that's yeah one useful feature like the blind spot warning which yeah should have been given the base model of the mini cooper which is a front wheel drive starts at a little over 179000 dirhams and this particular version which is the mini cooper s countryman all four which is the all wheel drive comes in with all the specs comes in at 217000 dirhams a little over that now the thing about mini cooper is that in the second generation it has improved a lot and i really like that fact like you know they worked on all the things which were let's be honest a lot of people had complained in the gen 1 and in this they've just been bang on and they've improved every single thing so the mini cooper is stylish it's it's got a ton of interior quality that you will see immediately when you sit inside it's got good road dynamics and you know it's well behaved and also now it's more practical and it's more spacious so yeah in that case it serves as a good option in the crossover suv market anyways that is pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and also leave all the notifications on you already know the drill and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care